Hi, and welcome to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this video, we'll be continuing with the shot MM007. In part two, we'll be importing our camera into Maya and getting it ready to be used. Okay, so we've opened up Maya. So the first thing we want to do is import our camera in. Go File, Import. If we go to where we exported out our camera. MM07. Now we want to go to our mail script and import that in and it should bring in the scene group in your outliner so if you double click on that and rename it to mm for match move so now what you have you'll have this camera here which is your sequence camera of all these keyframes and you'll have this camera here which is your lens camera but you can delete that we do not need that anymore so if you go to panels perspective and cave creature camera you can see that it's loaded in. It comes in automatically with the plate that we tracked on. So we need to change that so we can so we can work within marks. This is too heavy and um, we want the half res one. So if we click on our image plane shape in our attribute editor, we can change our alpha gain to 0.7. Then we want to go to our image name and change this. To our understorted plate. Click open, click use image sequence, and we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and change our depth to one. It's quite it's quite hard to see, but if we now want to go file import, import in our set geo. And bring in our set geo OBJ. a while because it's quite heavy so our scan is now loaded in and we can see shaded hardware texturing right click on this and add new material Arnold Arnold standard surface turn off our specular and change our color if we go to this our color box here and then click on file we can then bring in our texture if you wish to do so so set geo texture cave creature scan okay and now we've got that loaded in. We don't necessarily need that right now, but we can take the shading to hardware texturing off. And that's pretty much it. And now we can we can scrub through our timeline. And we know whatever we whatever CG asset we put on this rock. So if we go to our perspective, say if you had some sort of creature guy and he was sat on this rock you know that wherever animation is going on on these rocks it's always going to be perfect within the camera so once you've animated it then you can change this to your shadow map and it will look perfect on your rocks cool and that's pretty much it for this bit so i hope you enjoyed this uh tutorial on this shot um and i guess we'll move on to the next one so i hope you enjoyed it um see you on the next one if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.